In this video, I'm going to share how to turn a small leggy money plant or pothos into a bushy and healthy pothos like this one. I will share two different secret methods to turn any variety of pothos bushy and healthy like mine. So let's begin. First method I applied to my Zaid pothos. Zaid pothos produces clear green leaves and the leaves are a bit rounded shaped. I got this as cutting last year in November. Summer is the growing period for pothos, but it did not push that much growth. So first of all, what I did, I cut back the whole vine. I mean, I took cuttings out of this plant. I made a cut next to every couple of nodes from this pothos vine. This is a node, has an aerial root, and a leaf is attached with it. But you can make a cut next to every single node like this one. And like this, I took cuttings out of the whole vine. After taking cuttings, plant them all in a container. I took a shallow pot, but you can use any kind of pot. As growing media, I used a mixture of 50% cocoa peat, 20% sand, 10% compost, 10% charcoal, and 10% brick chips. It's actually the potting mix that I use for growing my house plants. So then, I planted all the cuttings. During putting the cuttings in the soil, I tried to bury only the roots and planted the stems a bit shallowly as you can see here. It actually reduces the chances of rotting. So the planting is done, then you need to water thoroughly. Now here is the thing. Cause we take lots of cuttings, so it could be challenging to get success from all cuttings. The mistake we do during propagating pothos cuttings is uneven watering. Most of the time we water them too much and the cuttings start to rot. You need to keep the soil moist but a bit in the drier side. That's why I used a shallow pot and very well draining soil media. After this, keep the pot in a bright but shady area. Now the leaves of these cuttings may wilt but it's normal. When the roots of these cuttings will be well developed, the leaves will bounce back. And this is the result after 4 weeks. Every single cutting has rooted in and pushed new growths. Now I gradually will shift this pot to a brighter area cause pothos needs bright light to grow fast and get healthy. At this point, you can add a handful of compost for optimum growth. Now this trick often used by professional plant growers. They put lots of cuttings in one pot and the plant gets bushy faster. But there are so many who would not like to cut back their pothos. So for them, method number two will be suitable. Very simple. If your pothos is vining out like this, you just bend back the stem and stick the stem along with roots in soil like this. Sometimes these stems may move back so you can secure the stems using pins. It will take 2-3 to three weeks to develop roots and become stable. By this method you do not need to cut back your pothos, it will fill up the bare spaces and will turn your pothos bushy faster. But the pothos should have some long vines. As you can see here. I turned this golden pothos bushy only by bending back the vining stems. So that's all. If you have any questions or suggestion, it will be glad to know in the comment section. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Also support this channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.